Hi and welcome to another Cubed 3 product review video. I'm Adam Riley, one of the directors at Cubed 3 and I'll be showing you all sorts of goodies in this upcoming few minutes. Or maybe a bit more than a few minutes because as some of you may know, I do like to waffle. As you can see here, I'm wearing a t-shirt from Thunderful Games. You'll be seeing this, this t-shirt as well as some other products later on. What I'd like to show you now is the Anchor range. So we've been using Anchor products for quite a while. We have like audio transmitters, battery chargers, wireless speakers and headphones, earphones. The range from Anchor is absolutely fantastic. And you'll see when I, I go through all these different products exactly why we really love this company so much. So without further ado, I'll take it off my face and I will go on to the products. One last thing to note though is these glasses do you remember them? Do you recognize them from the previous video? Yes, they are the Gunner glasses. They are in fact what they're called, the Gunner ESL Lightning Bolt 360 gaming glasses, as you can see right here, yeah? Still loving these Gunner glasses. I've not had any reason to put the uh, sunglasses lenses in um, because the weather's not been that good, but I do like these these particular lenses because they do help my eyes from getting too tired when I'm staring at screen, which is something that I do all day long. <laughs> anyway, I'll switch across the camera now and you'll be able to see all the products. Okay, it's time to change the quality of the video. So you look at this. Isn't this much clearer than the iPhone 6? It makes such a difference. There's the, there's the old iPhone 6. Shame on you. <laughs> there's the clicker. There's the anchor power bank, the power core. This is the wireless transmitter. This is the anchor sound sync. We also have a Bluetooth receiver. So this is a Bluetooth audio transmitter for something like a switch, which isn't Bluetooth. There's also an anchor Bluetooth receiver. I don't know whether the transmitter and receiver are still in stock, but they are very useful devices. What would be great is if Anchor were able to do something similar to Ugreen's option. So Ugreen have this very small Bluetooth transmitter adapter for Switch. If Anchor was able to take this particular product and upgrade it to be something similar like this, so it's slick, sleek, and fits nicely over your Switch, that would be really useful. Perhaps that's something that they can take on board as feedback. What you might notice in the videos is this watch. This is my Garmin Instinct Sports Watch. The Garmin Instinct Sports Watch. Here we go. There you go. It's a rugged GPS smartwatch, eSports edition, Garmin Instinct. So I showed you a little video of this the other day. People can use it for eSports. You can just use it in general life as well, which is what I've been doing. So, Let's have a look. So you've got this. Let's have a look at this again. So it might be a bit clearer on this video, even though it's dusty. So you've got the Power Wave 7.5 stand. As you can see, like I say, very dusty because it's been on a very dusty side table. But the good thing is, so this, this sort of rubberized base, because it's not easy to push around. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't slip and slide. You know, like something you can move and it slides, but this, look, you can tap it, it barely moves. So it, it fills you with confidence that when you sit it on, like so, well, that's not very good to see, is it? But I wonder if I can put this sideways as such. And you can see I'm tapping and it's wobbling, but it's not falling over, which is really good. Now, we were going to play some music because I want to show off just how good this Soundcore Flare Plus is. So I think I can stop wasting the battery life. I can unplug this. Here we go. Put this cable over here. So in the Soundcore Flare Plus, there you go, Flare Plus. Stylish. Carry a little carry handle for you. Look at this, this fabric, very nice fabric here. 
as I mentioned, this is waterproof, so your speaker's not going to have trouble. Again, I do like to keep things on dusty surfaces. <laughs> My goodness. I think that just shows I need to clean more often. And there we can see there's the brightness, which is there, base level, which is there, volume down, volume up, and the play button. So, do I have anything I can play? Should we try and find some good music? I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now we're gonna play a little bit of music on the Sound Core Flare Plus. So it's this wonderful thing here. Let's have a quick look at the box first. That's something topping over there. <laughs> See, fully waterproof. Very handy if you're playing it outside in the rain. You can have parties. As you can see here, micro USB cable, Soundcore Flare Plus. You can use the app on your Android or iPhone, and that will give you different settings that you can play around with. Customize the music and the lights using the app. It can charge phones and tablets, you saw. I used it as power before. Beat driven light show, which I'll show you in a bit, up to 20 hours playtime. Wireless stereo pairing. Bass up mode, which is why the little bass light is on there. Because I do like bass. Huge 360 sound. Fully waterproof, dynamic power management. Okay. Look, you can see some funky colors there. Beat driven light show. So there we go. So I pop that back over there. I'll stand this up again. There we go. Okay, so let's play some music. See if you can recognize it. Okay, I've turned it down for a little bit because you can't hear me otherwise. So we have some music playing in the background. If you've not guessed it already, this is music from Pikmin 3. Very delightful game. So, you want to see some of the magic, don't you? Let me just uh, put this back in. So that's how easy that is. So that covers up the gaps again to make sure that it is waterproof so if any splashes go on it they don't get into the connections so we have the play button which pauses it and then kicks it off again turn the volume up <laughs> you just have to keep it clean. Right, let's put the lights on. Look at this. Ooh. How nice is that? You see how the colours slightly change it? Yellow. To an orange colour. To a red. change this so you can make it so it does come on so you know what you mentioned before about uh, being adjusted by the beat so can you imagine if you've got dance music on I mean it's already flashing like crazy because of Pikmin <laughs> can you imagine if you have some dance music this would be immense so there you go you can just have it on like that that ambient light, you know, rather than constantly changing, you just want that in the background. Imagine when it's dark, that gives off a nice, it emits a very nice light. And if you had it hanging, so say for instance, you have your tent and there's something on the edge so you can hang this on, you would have this dangling. So yeah, so the colour's changing slightly there.
So basically, it goes from reacting to the beat of the music to off. So anyway, so that's a bit of Pikmin music for you there. A bit unusual, actually. Maybe I should have picked something better. But it gives you an idea of the sound core and what it can do. So I can turn it off. There you go. That's the old sound. The Soundcore Motion Plus has a different sound when it loads up. There you go. And you just hear it's connected as well. So what we can do is play some music. This is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We have the Liberty Air 2 Total Wireless Earphones. And something that we brushed over without really looking at is this, the Fast Charging Essentials. So let's have a look at both of these. So we've got the Fast Charging Essentials and we have the premium call quality via four mics with noise reduction, wonderful earphones, the Liberty 2 Total Wireless Earphones. Okay, let's start with the Fast Charging Essentials. Let's open up the box. Woo! There we go, put this to one side. Three times faster than your old charger. Charge everything faster. Flip over to discover more. Anchor PowerPort 3, Powerline 3, iPad, AirPods, MacBook Air, Apple Watch. Fast charging for even more devices. That's what we like. We need something to charge quickly. So as you can see here, Charging for 30 minutes, the original 5 watt charger gets it to 17%, whereas the Anker Nano charger brings it up to 53%. As compared to the original 5 watt charger for iPhone 11. How good is this? Three times faster. Let's take this out. Inside here, we have various different bits and bobs. How about in here? It looks like there's some information. There we go. is for FAQs, user manual, something else inside here, that is, it looks like some security information, for FAQs visit anchor.com forward slash support. What's this? Not happy or happy? <laughs> okay, so if you're happy, what you do is, we're just happy that you're happy. If you don't know how to express your newfound joy, we've got a few suggestions. Tell your friends and family, share your experience by writing a review on Amazon, or connect with us at anchor.com, Facebook, Twitter, well, not Google Plus anymore because it doesn't exist. If you are not happy, what you can do is our friendly customer service team will work hard to put a smile back on your face. Here's how you can connect. So there you go. Lots of ways to connect. There is no UK number on there though, but there is an email address and a website. But we are happy. So what have we got here? Special plug. Still got its cover on here. Take this off. There you go. And you can see the nice plug, shiny anchor plug with a USB C port, IQ3. This is the Power Port 3 Nano. In here we have this, whatever this is. Also, this is a charge, charge block. It has what looks like a bit of cover on, so can I take this cover off? Let's have a look at this. Seems like I can take the cover off. But I need to slightly oh there we go. Take that off. And you can see this nice shiny white block. 
this is the PowerPort 3 2 port 60 watts. So that, I believe, is an American connector. Okay. So I presume there must be something else in here that will let me use it on UK plugs. So here we have this wonderful cable. Oh, look at this. It's really quite smart. I like the, the sort of fabric feel to this. You know, some of the iPhone cables, if you bend them too much, they start to break, especially around the ends. I like this. So this is USB-C to iPhone. It has the very handy anchor cable tie. And this is not one of those twisty ones that you take off and it's loose forever. This you can uncouple it, the Velcro. As you can see, as I'm fiddling around here. So as you can see, it's hooked onto one of the cables. So it means that you can very easily, can I do this one-handed? Very easily, Whoa, there we go, tie it back up and keep your cables all nice and tidy. So that's that bit. What we have here, and the cable. This is another USB-C cable. Oh, this is USB-C to USB-C. Okay. Always useful. So, have we got an empty box? No, I see a message that says open here. So what do I do? Lift this up and put this to one side. And what do we have here? We have a UK plug. So presumably this will connect with this in some way so that I can use it. So what do we have here? Anything else in the box? No, I think that's, that's done. Get ready for mind blowing speed. All right, I am getting ready indeed. Let's see if I can get ready. So we've got plugs, we've got various devices. So this is, we have the, the regular port, power port three nano. So I would probably stick this one in. So I can, let's see. Is where the clicker comes in handy. So I can prop this up here and I will take the plug and I'll take, take the plug, take the USB-C, plug it in there. So there you go. So we now have, that's for the iPhone, and that's plugged in there. As for this, I see there are slots on the side, there are holes here, I'm not quite sure how this will connect, but let's have a look. So with this, what I've just noticed on there, here, so if you're using it in the US one, you can just plug it in like that, but you slot this up, and then these here. I just noticed that this looks like it can lift up. You can push this and it pops out. So there you go. Look at that. That's actually come out now. So can you see there's two holes there? And there's also two holes on this plug. So what I'm gonna do is this has come out very nicely. What I'm gonna do now is there's the two prongs. So I'm going to slide this in and wham bam thank you ma'am you now have an adapter that works in uk plug sockets so that my power port 3 2 port 60 watts can now get to work so what i can do is i can have this plugged into the wall and i can plug two devices in here and this is where this will come in handy because I could plug this in and I could plug my switch and charge my switch. So what I'll do is I'll show you that in a moment. 
So what we have here are the two high speed anchor plugs. This is the double USB-C version, which is quite a, a chunky beast. And you have the simple singular plug version here. So here we've got one that is going all the way up to, let's follow it around, to the wireless battery pack, as you can see here. It's the PowerCore 3 10K wireless. You can see the lights that are flashing here. The reason why I have it upside down is because normally you'd have it that way, but I have it round this way so that you can see the lights easily. So it's charging nicely at the moment. The other one that's coming from here with the nice silvery end, you might recall from the previous video, I was impressed with the nice shiny end and the, the, the cord as well. It doesn't fray very easily at all. It's very sturdy. This goes all the way around to the old phone that I was using before for recording. So you can see this iPhone 6 is currently on 46%. It was actually much lower than that before. This has been charging only for a couple of minutes and it's gone from about 28% up to, oh there you go, 47%. So you can already see how quickly it starts to charge. This particular phone, I'm using an iPhone 11 at the moment to film, was ready to die. It was less than 20% and it only took maybe 20 minutes and it was already up to 80 something percent. So it's extremely fast. I'm not sure how quickly it would charge power packs. That would be an interesting test to try out. But you can equally unplug this one from here and unplug from this end here and plug your second one in in this device follow the cable round and we have another power pack here we'll slot that in there and what you should be able to see now the lights so when one light is lit and the rest light up like that that just means that there's only one bar that's full eventually the further it charges the more it charges you'll see two lights that will be on permanently and the others flick on and then three lights on permanently and the rest flick on until all the lights stay on permanently it's a really good indicator to show how quickly it's filled that was and this one is the PowerCore Plus 26800PD 45 watts. <clears throat> one thing that I did note with these power banks, this one and this one, is that you can only charge them by plugging in the USB-C cable. So what I was trying before was using one of these other anchor cables, which I will show you in a second. Yeah, so a USB-C and a regular USB. Do you call it a USB-A, this original one? I think so, and micro is the USB-B. <laughs> so anyway, so I thought I could, I could put this USB-C into this, and then I could plug this other end here into this but as I found as you can see there the lights don't come on and if you press the button it actually thinks that you're wanting to charge this so it's kind of redundant unfortunately the only way you can charge this pack and this pack is by using the USB-C port. That's something that I didn't realize before, so I haven't mentioned it in previous videos, but it is useful information for you. So you've got the singular plug there, or you've got the big power pack. Now the big power pack, as I said before, is slowly charging this up. I say slowly charging, you have to remember that this power pack is really big, 
it's got quite a huge storage. I mean, just just look at this one. So this one, the PowerCore 310K wireless. So its capacity is 10,000. Whereas this one, the capacity is, there it is, 26,800. So you're getting towards more than two and a half times the size. So this one will take a little bit longer to charge up just because it's such a big battery pack. Whereas the iPhone, what are we on now? There you go, 52%. So this is charging the phone very quickly. And if we take this down to here, just to show you again, I'll unplug this, silver one, plug it into here. Okay, there we go. It's now charging again, 52%. If you're wondering what I'm recording on, there's the microphone. This is the HD iRig microphone from IK Multimedia. This is one of their older versions of the microphones. It's still a really great device and it plugs in very nicely into my iPhone. So this specific one, this model, the cable that comes down, I can't show you at the moment, but this is actually plugged into my iPhone so that I don't have to rely on the microphone of the actual phone itself. This microphone is really good quality. In the previous video, uh, when it was nice and quiet outside, it picked up the quality really well. Now let's just have a look at this again. There you go, it's on 53% charging nicely you can see it's 10 to 2 on the 10th of December should we see what my heartbeat is like can you see this 10th of December Thursday the 10th of December 10 to 2 in the afternoon here in the UK and that is my heart rate at the moment because I've been moving around it's about 83 but I have to say, this Garmin watch, this smartwatch has been really brilliant. I've been wearing it a lot, so it keeps on getting bumps and bangs. It is very cool. I do like the black and red styling. It's very smart indeed. I do need to be a bit more careful with it though. You can see I've got little marks on it. See, I've managed to bump it and bang it a little bit. But you know, that's the, that's the sign of a good piece of kit. If you like wearing it a lot, then unfortunately you are going to start getting bumps and bangs. One thing I would say with the Garmin watch is you're tempted to keep it on just because there are so many different different features because it can track your sleep as well. If you keep it on too long, you will start to get a little bit of a rash just because of the plastic plastic strap so try switching it around try put it on different wrists that's what I've been doing so each day maybe before going to bed because they recommend that you wear it during sleep so you can track your sleeping patterns switch from wrist to wrist because you can see maybe there you go it's caused a little bit of irritation it's a little bit red because I made the mistake of wearing it for too long and I hurt myself. So, you know, word to the wise. Oh, look at this. It's already up to 56% now. So this is indeed charging quite nicely. So here I am again. You can see me here wearing my trendy Gunner Game glasses. They make my eyes look big, don't they? Ooh, big eyes. Okay. Um, that's like something from Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, said Grandma in a very manly voice. Anyway, so you can see here the Thunderful t-shirt that I'm wearing. Thunderful. Yes, if I was slimmer, I wouldn't have to pan out so far. <laughs> you can see some of the products on the table behind me. There, there you go. Look, you see. So I sat there before going through some of the stuff. Uh, I just want to tell you about Thunderful. Thunderful Games 
is like um, a publisher, like an umbrella company that includes Zoink, Rising Star Games and Image and Form. Do you remember Image and Form? What a brilliant company. They do the Steam World games. Steam World Dig 2 is still one of my favourite games on Nintendo Switch. Absolutely love it. But they, they've got all sorts of games. You can check them out at thunderfulgames.com. That's Thunder, full, F-U-L, games, G-A-M-E-S, dot com. Thunderful. See, look, it's like wonderful, because they are indeed wonderful, but it's thunderful. There's a little cloud. It looks like a brain as well with a nice lightning bolt coming out there, like Thunder. So yeah, they are a games publisher. They also sell some great t-shirts. If you, you can head over to thunderfulgames.com and you'll find out more about the business, what games they've got coming up, what games are currently out, like Steam World Quest Hand of Gilgamesh, and more recently, the Lonely Mountains Downhill game, which has been highly rated on Cube 3. But you can also go to their shop. I'm just having a look at their shop at the moment. At the moment on their shop, I think you can maybe see on here. See, look at this, two phones. It's not gonna focus very well, is it? So basically, if you go to thunderfulgames.com forward slash thunder shop, yeah, not just forward slash shop, forward slash thunder shop, then you'll be able to get to their shop. To their Thunderful shop. At the moment, they've got OSTs. They've got vinyl. They've got collector's editions of games. I love the fact they've got soundtracks on vinyl. They've got loads of soundtracks on vinyl from Flipping Death, Ghost Giant, Alwa's Awakening. Steamworld Tower Defense single vinyl. And then they've got some cool t-shirts. I actually don't see this t-shirt listed there, unfortunately. But I do see rusted t-shirt, gold digger t-shirt, and far from home t-shirt. Oh, they've got they've got Steamworld Dig 2, the original soundtrack on vinyl. You know the music in Steamworld. It's not gonna focus again, is it, for you? The Steam World music is absolutely amazing. I would love to get a copy of that on vinyl. But I don't even have a record player. So I'd love to get a copy of that on Spotify or something like that. <laughs> so anyway, I'll get on with more product reviews. Don't forget, this is Thunderful. Thunderful. Wonderful. Thunderful. Blunderful? <laughs> Thunderfulgames.com. Check them out. Folks, I'm back once again with the Renegade Master. <laughs> Do you remember that song? Back once again for the Renegade Master. Anyway, so this t-shirt here, you can see is a bit of a Star Wars theme, but there's also a twist to it because they are mixed with the Queen. So it says at the bottom here, is this the Sith life? Is it just fantasy? Is this the Sith life? Is it just fantasy? So this t-shirt is from Monthly Tea Club. That's monthly, T-E-E, club.com. They're a great organization. They do these very cool t-shirts. They do mixes of different um, like music themes and game themes and movies and stuff like that. And they give money to charity as well, so it's all for a good cause. So you get a cool t-shirt. Uh, it's a monthly subscription, hence, hence Monthly Tea Club. And you get a great t-shirt and you have peace of mind knowing that some of your money is going to a really good cause. Now I also have another t-shirt, so I shall show you that in a second. It's actually under here to make it really easy to take off. What little hair I have left is now a mess. Anyway, look, see, as you could notice, there was another t-shirt underneath the uh, Queen and Star Wars themed one. This one is called Pack Busters. Did you get it? There's Pac-Man and there's Slimer from Ghostbusters. So rather than Pac-Man or Ghostbusters, it's Pack Busters. So these are really cool. So this is Monthly Tea Club, monthlyteeclub.com. And you can, um, you can start up a subscription. There's uh, no contract, so you can, you can end the contract whenever you feel like it. You can just get one t-shirt and then quit the next month, or you can keep going knowing that your money will, some of it will be going to a really good cause. 
and you'll get a really cool different t-shirt every month. So the Star Wars and Queen t-shirt that you saw before, which is now kind of like just draped over here. Oh, can you see this one as well? There's a Nintendo DS t-shirt under there. I'll show you that one shortly. Um, so the Star Wars t-shirt I got a while back at Comic-Con in Manchester, MCM Comic-Con. And this one I actually I got on a special deal uh, for 99p. They were doing a special offer. You will find that they do special offers every now and then. So if you are a first time customer, or you're a lapsed customer and want to come back, you can normally get quite a good deal. I mean, 99p for this t-shirt is absolutely amazing. I love it, it's so cool. So yeah, that's monthlyteaclub.com, monthlyteeclub.com. And there's a seamless transition into this Nintendo DS t-shirt. This is a real classic, blimey. This is really rolling back the years. I'm surprised this actually fits me. Touch me. Not the sort of thing you'd run around saying nowadays and get yourself into trouble. Touch me. More often than not, if I said touch me, I'd probably get a bloke coming up to me and punching me. So, <laughs> refrain from wearing this. Yes, this Nintendo DS t-shirt was really cool. It was a promotional when it flew over for the, the DS launch in France all those years ago. See, Cube 3 used to get flown from country to country. It doesn't seem to happen as much nowadays, sadly. Uh, but yeah, ah, oh, the memories being in France, getting the the first original Nintendo DS, getting hands on with some brilliant games. Ah, oh, memories. Anyway, nice T-shirt. Enough of me now. I'm going to get onto the products because I was going to show you these Liberty Air 2 Total Wireless earphones. We have all sorts of goodies. So there's the wireless charger. We have this Trust Morphix adjustable mouse. The Ugreen Bluetooth transmitter adapter for Switch. So like I say, that is very similar to the Anchor product, except it's much more streamlined and fits nicely against the Switch. There's the clicker stand that I showed you before. The Gunner ESL eSports Lightning Bolt 360 special glasses that help reduce eye strain, as it says there. You have the London Urban Easter Bluetooth earphones. The high tune earphones from Ugreen. There's the Garmin box that you saw before. And you can see on here now, look, my heart rate has been elevated to above 90 because I'm so excited by all these products. And we have over here a bunch of Snakebite goodies. Ring Kit S, Arrow Charge S, and the Dual Charge Base S, which I'll give you a, a closer look at later on. There is the actual new green Bluetooth adapter. Over here, we have something called a Fit Case, ultra slim and soft to touch, powerful super protection. That's for the iPhone 11, which I'm filming with at the moment. There are also various adapters that will go with this. That I'll show you in more detail later. They're all from a company called Phone Drop. They have the phone mount base. You have the phone, another phone mount base. So, so that phone mount base is uh, the telescopic one. This is for putting on the air ventilators in the car, and this is a this is a general charger. So this would be if you just wanted to leave it on the side of your table and charge it up easily. But I'll show you more detail. There's the U Green earphones. The Urban Easter earphones. Have a look inside. See if they actually are in there. Yep, that's very cool. There you go. U greens. It's a bit tricky to open because it's so smooth, but they're in there as well. Very nice indeed. Uh, for those of you that wanted to see the comparison, there's the Sound Core earphones. So yeah, three really good ones. Uh, the U green ones. The only downfall would be that sometimes it's a bit they're a bit smooth so it's, it's hard to I know my, my wife in particular found that they were really hard to take out because they were a bit slippy for her fingers the Urban Easter have an amazing bass feature and noise cancelling as well that makes them sound absolutely stunning when you put them in the Soundcore version 
have the name on there. No, it doesn't. So the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pro earphones are brilliant because they've got this. So my wife loves these because they've got the little rubber thing on the edge. So you can pick note very easily. Uh, all, all of these earphones, they've got this magnetic thing. So when you pull them out, you can see the dots there and you can slot them in. Shut the box. Very easy. Very nice. Uh, so what we have now is the new, new version, the Liberty Air 2. So let's get these, let's move some stuff out of the way. Let's have a look at these, Liberty Air 2. Charge for 10 minutes, listen for two hours. Seven hour playtime on a single charge, compatible with wireless charging. So that will work very well with all the other Anchor products like uh, the one that you can see here. So it would work with these. It would work with that plate if that was plugged in. So that's really good to see. Let's have a look at this. You've got the diamond coated drivers for high precision audio. You've got a very happy chappy on the side here. Incredible sound loved by 10 million plus people. And let's have a look at some of these details. Liberty Air 2 premium audio clarity via diamond coated drivers. Four microphones with uplink noise cancellation. Hear ID personalized sound. Charge for 10 minutes, listen for two hours, compatible with wireless charging, seven hours playtime, bumped up to 28 hours if you use the charge case, and fully sweat proof, IP times five. You can also get the app on your Android phones via the Google Play Store, or on your iPhones or other iDevices on the App Store, Anchor in Ovations. In the box, you have the Liberty Air 2 earphones, charge case, different ear tips, and USB-C cable. The different ear tips used to be something that I would overlook, but as I found, they are very, very useful indeed, because even though I'm a big chap, I need the smaller earbuds. I need the little, the little ones. So my inner ear is not as big as the rest of me. So there we go. So this is something called Hear ID. And this is brilliant because when you get the app on your phone, you download it and you can test your sensitivity of hearing. So it's like going for a special hearing test and then you will get a personalized equalizer setting that is suitable for your range. Start the test, find a quiet place to ensure accuracy and then enjoy your personalized sound. So it will be better for your ears. It will be good for your ear health, but it will also be more enjoyable because it will be tailored to what suits your ears. So let's get this open. Open here. There we go. This is going to flick, isn't it? So, can I... Oh, there we go. Box has fallen over the place. There we go. We've got a little thing. We've got the earphones here. Let's take the earphones out. They're very nice. Take the charge box out. What does that say? Get started. There's your earphones. It's a bit hard to see that, really. Let's see. Can you see it better now? Yes, there you go earphones, turn your Bluetooth on, scan for the Liberty Air 2 and pair. So that's that's how easy it is. Once you open the lid, the lights will flash and your phone will be able to pick them up. So what I mean by that is when when you get this sound caught, this is very it's like some sort of um, marbling effect. So you've got your char USB-C charge port there and then you've got the button there. So if they don't automatically start charging, you can press the button. See, look, if you press the button, it tells you how much charge is on the case as well. So when you flick this open, dang, you've got all these little messages inside. Sound Core Liberty Air 2, da, 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 da. And you can see the ports at the bottom and the magnetic bits at the top. So, you know, there is a little magnet that will mean that the earphones will slot nicely in there. When you lift this lid and the earphones are inside, they will start to flash. And that's because they are now searching for something to pair with. So let me pop these in. So does it go in like that? Yeah, I always get confused with this. Ah, yeah, so like that. Boom. So it goes with the silver side out and the earbud. Look at that. It's like a little fan, isn't it? So there's the left side, and you pop that in like so. Yeah, and you can see that the magnet's holding them. So as I drop 
they're not coming out. So that's really useful to know. So if you open this lid like upside down, watch this, let's let's not tempt fate, but let's do this. There we go, open it. Look at that, earphones. Nothing drops out. How good's that? But did you also notice when I shut it, the lights came on, but when I open it, look at that, there you go. Your right earphone started to pair first. So it paired with its left counterpart, but it's also looking for any Bluetooth devices. See, that's why it's flashing now. It's trying to find a Bluetooth device. So it's paired with its partner, and now it's looking for any Bluetooth devices to connect to, which is really handy. So this is brilliant. So you've got this, how do we sound? A little bit of feedback, some nice booklets in there. It'd be very similar to the booklets that we saw in the other Anchor products. Now we also have another flap here. So what's underneath here? Let's see. Let's lift this up. And what we've got under there would have been my USB-C cable, which I think might be this one that I was using before. <laughs> I tend to, well, it does say powered, powered by Anchor. So it possibly is. Um, but I tend to interchange all the cables. There you've got your different ear pieces, extra small, small, large, and extra large. You may be wondering what's going on. Why are they all there? Well, if you notice on the small, they are the same size as the large. It's because there was large ones on them automatically. So I took the small ones out. It's a bit hard to compare, to be honest but you'll have to take my word for it. You might be able to see, this is a little bit smaller than the one that's in there. So that's large, same as that. So you've got two lots of large, yeah. Dung, 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 okay. These are the small ones and they suited me fine. So that's, that's the box. It looks very nice, very smart. Pop this back in so I don't make a mess. Uh, earphones are nicely in there, so I'll pop them away. Pop these back on. Shut that very nicely. Snug as a bug in a rug. And look at this. Shuts. And it's also got... It's got a bit of a... Um, can you see the crease there? There's a little bit of weight, so that when you shut it... It shuts very nicely. See? I actually feel like that's a bit of a magnetic strip. I think there's something there that's magnetic because when you hear it, there you go. It makes a clicking sound. And that shows that when you're picking up the box, this isn't going to accidentally open. Yeah. So you have to actually forcibly flick it open. Overall, that's brilliant. I mean, really loved these ones already. If you want a reminder, Let's bring these side by side. So there we go. Side by side, you've got the Liberty 2 Pro. 32 hours play time. The Liberty Air 2. So these have less air time. I'd probably say that the Liberty 2 Pro are the, the smarter ones. But equally, the Liberty Air 2 they're really impressive as well. So if you want to have a reminder of the Liberty 2 Pro version, acoustic architecture, hear ID personalized sound function, wireless charging compatible, crystal clear calls. And there you go. Do you see there, it's got sound core Liberty 2 Pro earphones, charge case, the tips, it's actually got more tips. It's got the USB-C cable. It's also got these ear wings that I mentioned that my wife really likes because it's so easy to grab them and take them out. Grammy winning audio producers, recommended by them. And what you also find on the app is some of these Grammy winning producers, they've come up with their own personalized equalizers. So, for different types of music. They've come up with uh, special default functions for people to try out, so that's really cool as well. So anyway, so that's 
Anchor. Anchor, wonderful headphones, wonderful speakers, uh, wonderful earphones, fantastic charging capabilities, all sorts of goodies. There's the wireless charger as well. So yeah, that's the Anchor line. So I'll come back with some other products shortly.